What's up, folks? Today's show, today's show is for a California man named Dan. Dan, Dan the man from California. Dan, you come to me because you want to flip houses in the Cleveland market. You want to get started doing some flips, right? So today's show, it's all about getting you started, getting you moving on doing a flip out here in the Cleveland market, right? It's kind of like a little introduction video between you and myself, man. This is like dinner before the fireworks after the date. You know what I'm saying, brother? We're going to get to know each other, man. So let's uh, go over a property I have for you today. Along with this property, I'll break down the numbers, how the flip would work. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about strategy and, and how you can really get your flipping business going here in Cleveland, utilizing the services of Holton Wise. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise and I am here to help investors like you invest in real estate, right? Today's video is for my guy Dan from California. And Dan, like I said, this is the first time you and I have worked together, right? So I'm going to go over this property. I'm also going to go over, you know, a strategy that I think is going to work for you. Everybody else out there is watching this show. I sent this to Dan privately months ago. So if you want to invest with Holton Wise, you want to work with us, uh, you can click the notes below to book a free call. My team will talk to you about how I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Get your customized videos because this house ain't available to anybody but Dan right now, okay? I said this to Dan months ago, okay? Uh, privately. I don't release these on Holden Wise TV till after the deals are no longer available. So, Dan, you told me you want to flip houses in the Cleveland market. You got about 60 k in cash, right? And you're also pre-approved, okay? So a couple things we need to go over. Number one, just so you know, uh, you got one video for me. That's great. That's what we're doing. But, like, flipping is a numbers game, especially if you're going to have to finance your flip, Okay. Uh, yes, the Cleveland market is much cheaper than where you're at in California, but there's still a heavy demand, right? It's not like there's just like all these houses out there for flippers to make a big profit. And you just go, oh, I'll take a 30K profit. I'll take a 50K profit. Let me get 70K. It's not like that, dog. It's not Walmart. The shit just ain't in the shelf, right? Flipping is a numbers game. It's a tough business, right? So you have to uh, send out tons of offers, analyze tons of properties, uh, you don't know, put a bunch of lines in the water, make a ton of low ball offers to get deals done. OK, uh, the goal is to definitely make sure you don't overpay and you know what you need to do. You got to make sure you understand your ARV. You got to make sure you understand your rental costs, help you with all that. But it's definitely going to be a numbers game. Right. I'm going to break down this property because I think this would be a great candidate for you. But there's definitely going to be no guarantee you pick it up. Right. Now, this property, it's 2811 Torrington Avenue, Parm, Ohio, 44134. Just hit the market. Pretty much either the cheapest or the second cheapest house in the city of Parma, 129.9. And I think this is a really good candidate as a flip for somebody like you because you're financing. You see, the issue that you're going to run into is if you're going to finance, you have to find houses like this, which I like for newer flippers anyway because it's just a little old lady house, right? It's got good bones, but you just got, like, you know, the grandma action, right? Like, grandma installed this, like, shag carpet probably 30, 40 years ago. So, like, overall, the home is in good condition. But, like, you know, just like a little old lady lived there for the last 40 years and she never updated anything, right? Like, you know, buyers today don't want to see this. But this is perfect for somebody like you because if you're going to get a loan, because you don't have enough cash to do a flip cash in this market you don't have enough you ain't gonna be all in at something at 60k and do a flip out here it's not gonna happen right so you need to use financing and if you get something that like is completely unlivable and totally jacked you can't utilize financing so houses like this that have quote unquote good bones and are just like old looking and and dated are perfect for people like you right because you can actually get it financed all right it just needs cosmetic reno right that is all this house needs okay the only thing you need to do to this house is the cosmetic stuff. Like, more or less, everything is, is looking pretty good, right? You got a decent furnace, updated electrical. Uh, the info we have at this time, you got AC right there, that we could just do a quick 
uh, reno here, right? So as far as what your reno would look like, okay? I'm anticipating a $31,000 reno, right? And it's going to be simple. Uh, paint and patch them walls, refinish the hardwoods, do the kitchen, do the bath. For a good example for you, right? I'm going to show you this other comp. It's on the same street, okay? This one just sold. Uh, it was like four months ago, okay? Sold for 162500 The address is 2434 Torrington, okay? Right down the street, all right? I think if we take thirty-one grand and put it into the other house, we can make that house look like this house, okay? This is what we need to provide, right? Same kind of home, but this is just brought into 2022, right? It does not look uh, like some little old lady lives there, right? Like just modern-looking stuff here, right? All right, this is all we got to do. We provide this right here to buyers. We can get pretty much the same price, right? So this this is your target, right? This is essentially what you want the reno to look like, okay? So you got to take grandma's house, turn it into this house. Now, same thing, unfinished basement is fair. In fact, grandma's house had a half-finished basement, okay? But this house has newer mechanicals, like the hot water taking the furnace are a little newer. Uh, but I like to be conservative on these, right? So right now, grandma's house is listed at 129 you're going to have to spend like 31 G's to make it look like our other house. So you can't, you cannot, cannot, cannot pay, uh, you cannot pay the price of 129.9, right? Because that wouldn't make no sense, right? Here's what your numbers look like. The most we can get you, the uh, most we can have you pay for this property and have it pencil out to a profitable flip for you is going to be 95 grand, right? You spend 95, that's going to account for that 31,000 in reno, and then we're going to have an ARV here of 160, right? I like to be conservative on these. Like, yeah, we have a partially finished basement. Could we possibly sell it for a little bit more than our comp? They're kind of, you know, it's, it's 162 and a half. Maybe, maybe not. You know, I like to to go conservative, folks. The biggest problem people have when they're flipping houses, especially when they're flipping houses on a market, they try to uh, they tend to think their ARV is going to be higher than it really is, and they tend to think their rental costs are going to be lower. So let's go conserve. 160. That's why the most you can pay is 95, right? You're going to pay 95. You got 31k in rental, which of course Holton Wise could do that entire rental. We'll make this house look just like that other house. Uh, then when we sell it for 160, you got a 7% commission, and of course you got your closing costs, right? So your total uh, reno acquisition costs and everything would be 138. So if you sold it at 160, you're looking at a profit of 21,200, right? Not bad. Quick, simple, easy flip. Holton Wise knocks out all the work for you. It's a very low list, uh, low risk flip, right? Again, it's all cosmetic. Uh, we're going to get a home inspection on the particular property with our offer uh, to make sure there's not anything major, right? Like if you get in there and it turns out you need a new roof, that could affect some things, right? So we can go back to the sellers and renegotiate. But all told, this is a perfect flip. Can be paid for with cash if you can come up with the cash. But it's also got the ability to be financed. I don't think a bank's going to have a problem. So this is the kind of flips you want to do. But that's the thing, bro. This is the flipping business. It works at 95K. But they're asking 129.9. I don't know if... I don't really think they're going to get 129.9, but I also can't guarantee you they're going to just take a $35,000 discount three days on the market. Uh, if this thing sits, maybe it'll look better later, uh, but there is definitely never going to be a 100% shot, guys, that when you're doing flips, uh, the sellers are going to take your offer, right? The majority of your money is made on the buy. It's made on the acquisition, right? Like, you need somebody who knows what's going on to put the other two pieces of the the algebra equation together for you, which is your ARV and your renovation costs. That's where Holton Wise steps in, right? But to get the whole thing to work, right, you really need to figure out your ARV, your uh, renovation costs, which I've just done, and then you just backtrack what your purchase uh, price is going to be. But the purchase price uh, is going to be completely contingent upon the seller, right? They have to agree to it. And that's why... Flipping houses is absolutely a numbers game, right? So if we can get them to take 95, this will be a great flip, quick, easy $20,000 in your pocket. Uh, but if they don't accept it, and that's a decent probability because, again, we're asking for a $35,000 discount, you need to be on to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. Because if you're trying to build any type of momentum doing house flips, you have to put out offer, 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 right? The people that just go, yeah, I want to flip houses, man. I'd love to make 20K. Shoot out one offer. They say no. And then they go, oh, all right, that's it. That didn't work. And then that's it. 
right? You can't give up. It's absolutely a numbers game. Anybody telling you it's not has never been in the business, right? Uh, part of the real estate business is just constantly shooting out numbers, uh, shooting out offers, running numbers, making sure your offers make sense, and then waiting, right, for the fishies to bite the line. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.